It's a beautiful day. Come on. <laughs> Exit plan NYC. We came here to show out and have a good time. I hope everybody's enjoying themselves this fine evening. I know I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Came all the way out here from LA. Yeah, yeah, gather around for some good advice and some good music. Mic check, mic check. 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 Look. Yeah. See, back in the days, the place I stayed was stuck on the page. The lyrics for the tradition, how my mental would age. My mind was getting quicker, storyteller back in them days. Never thought that I was a thinker. A mess with pain from a childhood of solitude. My attributes was an absolute. Past itself, I always felt the stuff like shit, what I could do. Captivate my thoughts into lyrics. Yes, and my spirit crashed, and there wasn't hope for rap. Be a profession, was it just a vision? Pops always asking about my future, but yeah, I wouldn't listen. Focus on filling the marble books. Passion shook to express my passion. Like it's a hobby, but it's a Lifestyle, all the stuff I write down. Sixties on top of sixteen, there in no way how you keep the whip clean. Participate in ink and I tell the passion in this stream. Literature and literature verse rehearsing the way that feeds me. It's early mornings and late nights and the verses in each. Yeah, yeah. How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? How you feeling? Uh, I write my rights and I write a past reflections since my life is gone. What's your life like? I'm short like chemo, but kept the kept the blade sharp. New genesis, reminiscing in the night spent writing. Yeah. Get time to play with the killer's song. Purity for vices. Yes, viewers, now we're on Orchard Street. And we're going to visit Mackenzie Fine Art. Okay, well, we're going to go in here and try to get some pictures of the Gary Peterson show. Well, switch places. Acrylic and oil on canvas is 48 by 36 inches. I've been uh, looking at Gary's work probably for about 20 years, something like that. And uh, I've covered at least a couple of his shows here. And uh, even before that, I was bumping into him out in Bushwick. I actually ran into him at an opening last Thursday. We were talking about the show. Okay, this is for the moment, 2021. 72 by 60 inches. And, uh, well, I told him that I'd driven by on my bike after closing time, but I looked in and saw the, saw the installation and was commenting that uh, it looked like he had a little bit larger paintings in the show. And he said, yeah, they were a little bit larger. And that uh, he enjoyed working on a bumped up scale. You can go back in the files and look at uh, a piece that he did out of Gallery in Bushwick, which was a couple of wall paintings. So, uh, well, Gary knows how to bump up his scale when he wants to. Okay, uh, also I think I like his colors. He's getting a little more of the uh, 
contrasty, it's titled Orange Slice 2022, acrylic and oil on canvas, 60 by 48. So I like the way that he uh, kind of layers these so you've got a, a ground layer of stripes and squiggles and then that's covered with a it's like a glaze of kind of light tint and then he uh, builds up his color planes on top of that so uh, I like what he does with his stripes it's almost like surgically slicing these pieces very cleanly yes, this is spin around 2021 acrylic and oil on canvas 50 by 36 well I've talked to Gary but just about some of the technical problems and uh, as it says here on the the guide he's mixing his medium so he's got acrylic and then he paints over the top of that with oil and uh, well let's see if you can get the quality the difference it's a little more sheen and more body in some of the areas with the oil always nice to see people's works on paper this is untitled GNA number six. Colored pencil on paper, 12 by 16 inches. Well, I am a uh, fan of some of the great American modernists. Stuart Davis is one of my, someone I would consider my grandfather of my aesthetics. This is untitled GNA 2022 10x14 and I think uh, Gary's also someone that uh, has probably spent some time looking at Stuart Davis, Shirley Jaffe, some other great hard-edged painters. Well, I was commenting about Gary's color, and uh, here's a good little example. Take this green line, and as it's, it's on the uh, maroon background, but as it shifts over under this turquoise ground, it's like the looks like the color of the green changes, but it's not. It's the same all the way across. And these paintings are full of interesting little color things, contrast, shapes, forms. Oh, we've got a black and white piece, untitled GNA number seven. Sixteen by eleven. This is a beautiful piece, and I like the way that uh, Gary has kind of split the composition down the center. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Little friends. 
Also, this kind of makes me think of my old uh, instructor at the Art Students League, a gentleman that recently passed away, Knox Martin, but Knox had a wonderful knowledge of painting. He was one of the last members of the New York School, and he always talked about uh, colors in a very interesting way, but he said that uh, some palettes are like kitchen colors, which I guess is kind of happy and joyful, and I think that uh, a lot of Gary's pieces are kind of kitchen colors. It's not a where to go. 2021 44 by 28 I think the other thing that's interesting is these are almost kind of like fractals in that you could cut parts of these out and they would work or you could take maybe pieces of other paintings and cut them and put them together like a collage and they would all somehow kind of work together. I think a lot of uh, Gary's compositional designs relate to collage and you know, cutting forms. I'll just scan across this suite of three graphite drawings. These are all GNA graphite on paper, 11 by 7, 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to end up looking at this piece. It's not a look both ways. 2021. 86 by 64. So that's about seven by five and a half feet. I guess this is probably the largest piece in the show. And again, we've got our little kind of slash down the composition here. is very interesting. We've got kind of a, an out of square with a round corner, this dark violet tapering down to a, almost like a peachy fluorescent. Okay, I was talking about its colors and I also mentioned to him that uh, I almost have a sense of early 1960s graphic design. <laughs> and that's actually a compliment because I think maybe some of the greatest graphic designs of all time came out of that period. And, uh, well, I mentioned, I think Gary posted something that it was in a museum in Switzerland and posted a picture by Max Bill. <laughs> and I said something like, Max Bill is great, but nobody in America knows who he is, but he, he wrote something back that like, well, that's because they're, they're dumb because everybody in Switzerland thinks Max Bill is a master. Okay, so that was a look at Gary Peterson, new paintings at McKenzie Fine Art. You can like this. You can subscribe, you can share it at all your social media sites, and you can leave your thoughts, ideas, comments, criticisms, reviews, and suggestions below. We just ask you to say, thank you, Kate. Coming to the city near you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, exit plan. Exit plan, NYC.